That is who you are. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now for being a way maker. Lord, we thank you for being a miracle worker, a promise keeper, a light in the darkness for us. Lord, we just thank you that you have given us this opportunity to come here and worship you. To be a part of the great things that you have planned. To be a part of the redemption of our communities, our families. The healing that you want to bring to our land. That we get to be a part. Lord, we just thank you that you have given us this opportunity. Lord, today we take it wholeheartedly. Yes. That we want to be people who bring you Love. to the masses. Lord, I just thank you. Love. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to worship. Lord, I pray that we never lose heart. We never lose that ability to worship. We never lose the desire to connect and be in your presence. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what you're going to continue to do in our service today. I give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated if you can. Uh, I noticed I, I got to prophesy something else. Not only does Anthony have a preaching spirit on him, right, to go to the altar, but he's got a Roger spirit. He likes to run. <laughs> and there's a little holy roller in the house <laughs> hallelujah all right this is our offering time of course because of covid we don't pass the plate as always you get to drop your offering off into the, the plate up here the little house by the back door back there by our covid station or of course the mailbox outside you can also catch us online one more slide to the actual website at our website Click on giving, follow the link so you can give securely online. You can set up a one-time or a recurring payment and give. All you gotta do is have an email address because your tax receipt will be sent directly to you there. Uh, I wanted to share one more thing about offering. Uh, I placed it, it is only on the church's Facebook page. Uh, now, if you do not have Facebook and you want to participate, you can just come see me personally and let me know that you wanna give a special yeah. offering and designate it that way, or you get an envelope right on there that you want this offering to go here. We are participating in uh, fundraise for recovery for Minnesota Teen Challenge, Adult Teen Challenge. Uh, right now, uh, I announced it on Wednesday night, but we have been blessed that we have two young men, uh, Taylor, uh, I can say their names, they, they know, I've already spoken to them. Uh, we remember Taylor, he came from Red Lake Falls. Uh, he was able to be released from jail out of Crookston and uh, he is now in Brainerd uh, Teen Challenge. Uh, he is in short term, but he is preparing to move over to long term. So he is completely excited. And I, I wanna tell you, even if you could just do it for a day, on July the 2nd in Alexandria, Lake Geneva, even if you don't go to anything at family camp, that's a Friday. If you go to, to Alexandria, to Lake Geneva uh, Christian Camp, on July the 2nd, that's the opening day, the Minnesota Adult Teen Challenge Choir will be there, and Taylor is part of the choir. Amen. All right. I've known Taylor for seven years. The Taylor I talked to on the phone the other day was not the same one. I put him on speakerphone. He was preaching. He's going to take my spot. <laughs> <laughs> if you can only go the one day, you go up there for that. I will be up there that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come on Monday. That is our that is our vacation time at Family Camp. But that opening night, Teen Challenge will be there. If you can just get up there for that night, get yourself a hotel room in town or something. You might be able to find a rusted cabin still available here at Lake Geneva if you don't mind old army bunks and you can see through the ceiling and look count the stars through the roof. Uh, <laughs> if that's okay with you, uh, get one of those. Uh, but if not, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit because you, know, you got to get your registration in like a, January 2nd to get the premium spots, right? So of course I didn't, so I just rented a hotel downtown. <laughs> so I got us in a hotel downtown and we'll just be driving back and forth to the, to the camp, so... Uh, but if you go at least that one day, go. Uh, Taylor's going to be there. And the other news is, if you remember from last Thanksgiving, uh, at when we had it over at the community hall, James invited a friend, uh, Anthony, the one who worked at Subway, had the, yeah. the piercings. Uh, I got to speak to Anthony the other day. He was home on a pass. 
and I knew he was he had been violated for a drug issue and I knew he was in jail for a while and they were going to send him away and I noticed he wasn't on the jail report so I just thought he got well it was his last strike they were tired of messing with him so I thought they sent him away well I saw him the other day he is in Minnesota Adult Team Challenge Duluth and when I saw him the other day he does not look like the Anthony from before since like August or something like that he uh he look he's healthy he's happy his face is just different uh, so he should be there as well so we have two people who are connected as part of they've been here more than once so they're family right so they are part of our family they are going through the recovery program at Teen Challenge 18 months is the the, uh, the, the program that they have to go through and uh, so if you go to our churches Facebook page, we have a link for fundraise for recovery for Teen Challenge. I put an easy goal of $1,000. I would love to break that goal. There's not a time frame on it, but I would love to break the $1,000 goal. I've donated. Uh, James has already donated, and James shared it on his page for other folks to, to find it. So go on there. If you do not have Facebook and you want to give specifically to Teen Challenge to give towards that, let me know, and then uh, we could do it, and we'll just use the church's card to put it on there, but we'll still put it in your name on the Teen Challenge uh, on the, the fundraiser page. So you'll go down as the donor for that. We'll, we'll get the credit for it, right? It's not like a tax credit or anything, but you'll get, the, you'll get your name on the little rolling scroll thing that says, you know, thanks to the people who gave. On your receipt, it shows it's the tax credit. Yeah, the, the receipt that you'll get in the email. It'll show a tax credit. So uh, get towards that if you can. We got two people going through it right now. Teen Challenge is the number one rated uh, recovery program in the world with an over 80 plus percent success rate. Uh, founded by David Wilkerson in New York uh, from the famous Cross and the Switchblade uh, movie uh, fame, I guess is what you could say. A country preacher called of God to go minister to gang members in New York. I, I think we think about that before we get into the message today because that's about changing perspectives and going out of your, out of your comfort zone. So, uh, William, can you go downstairs and make sure the TV's up and running? Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, and you know what? And praise God! One more announcement before we go into our our uh, special song by uh, by Rachel. Uh, one more announcement. Just a little bit ago, I know James shared today's message uh, with a recovery site, a site for recovering addicts. Yep. And just a few minutes ago, thirty minutes into the message, into the, the broadcast, we were already hit over a two hundred and twenty saturation of people reached with today's message. So, Lake of the Wood All Star Recovery Group. So there's a <coughs> Northland Ministry Network talking about taking a region. This is what we're talking about. And I shared it with the Living Off the Grid Group too. Getting getting the message to as many people as possible. Getting the message to as many people as possible. Amen. 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 And hey, and praise God, we haven't dropped once. <laughs> one time. We, we did drop one time for just a moment. Okay. I was right on. But we were quick. Hey, praise the Lord. Hey, one time is better than a five times last week. <laughs> five times last week. That was a fun. When I go back to try to review all the comments, it's, it's, oh my goodness. It's right at the very end of Waymaker. <laughs> right at the very end of Waymaker? Okay. This part goes, I turn my mic on everybody. Oh, no, he's going to talk. <laughs> all right. Uh, again. Uh, Rachel had asked to do this a couple of weeks ago, and we want to make sure we can make sure everything is covered copyright. We found a good version of the song, uh, that so she'll be singing uh, along with Matt Redmond, praise God. But uh, it's a song that she says has really blessed her and has really spoke to her heart. And so uh, we're so glad to have Rachel back in our family. We may not be as we may not be glad as circumstances that brought her here, but we're glad that she's here, and we're glad that she remembered and she knew that there was a safe place to go to. That there's a family bigger than just blood. Yes. But we're a blood family too, right? Amen. That's right. Amen. Praise God for that. Great. You know, we're, we're, we're a blood. We're a blood bought family. Mm -hmm. So our so, blood never loses. Its that's right. Power. And it never loses its power. I'll start. Andre Crouch reaches to the highest mountain. <laughs> Lowest to the lowest mountain. <laughs> All right, so with that, I'll turn off my mic, turn this other mic on for Rachel. If you want to stand and sing, you can. If not, you can sit there, but don't make faces, and, and, and I'm talking to you, Nikki. <laughs> I was going to say.
Oh, Lord.